That's right, the 75 coming to you here with a pristine gem. This is, uh, if you watched my Jetfire video, I explained I kept two, uh, you know, about five years ago when I was gathering some funds to get married, I went and sold all my Transformers that I had from when I was a kid that my mom was nice enough to keep in the attic and she kept all the boxes and everything because the woman is a saint and an angel. Love my mom and uh, she... Uh, she kept this box in pristine condition. This thing looks like you took a time machine back to like KB Toys or Child World or whatever back in the 80s. Or Toys R Us or whatever. And, uh, you know, went and bought this thing. The box is beautiful. It probably would have got an amazing grade. I would have got it graded from AFA. I actually bought this case from them to uh, protect it. Um, I would have got it graded, but unfortunately... I did, although it's perfectly complete and the stickers are in pristine condition, all the baggies are in there, everything is perfect. Um, I barely played with this guy because I was such a fan of Optimus Prime and although I love guns now, I wasn't a huge fan of this. Um, you know, Megatron wasn't my you know favorite character or anything like that. I didn't really like transforming the gun or playing with them, so... I back in the day I thought he looked kind of stupid so I barely played with him and this thing has like nowhere on it whatsoever it was I think I you know might have tr transformed him once and then put him back it's a Walther P38 um I would love to own one of those <laughs> now <laughs> but all I did was I adhered three stickers boom boom and boom those three stickers which are where they're supposed to go and everything um, and the sheet, the sticker sheet is perfect. Oh, Christ, I could get these stickers off, buy a sticker sheet off eBay, and probably still send this in and get a nice Q grade. Um, but, you know, I already had hit the stick. So, I mean, the tape is off, too, because I opened him. But, I mean, the box is in amazing condition. Like I said, I wish I could have got it graded, but, unfortunately, it has been opened and three stickers were applied. So... What are you going to do? But, I, I, you know, I'm always open to ridiculously good offers if I was ever to part ways with this guy. Because, uh, you know, just from a part of my childhood that I'd never want to forget. And, uh, you know, now, now how big Megatron is and the Transformers are and all that. It would have to be a really good offer for me to part with him. Just to probably have some money for diapers and stuff of that nature with my newborn. <laughs> but... Yeah, like I said, if I was to take any offers, it wouldn't be any bullshit lowball. It would definitely be... I mean, you could see how amazing this looks. It, it's not even the red-tipped gun. This is the vintage G1 Generation 1 Megatron. Everything is from way back when. And uh, it's just... It's in amazing condition. This is the bottom of the box. I'm not taking it out of the baggie because the baggie is so nice and snug. And obviously I'm not taking him out of the box because he's really nice in there. You know, I bought these nice case, this nice case for this to display him perfectly. It's got the nice lip that holds everything in place perfectly to avoid any kind of damage and totally protect it. Obviously, if I was to have to sell it to and shipping, it would be well protected. Um, just a wonderful piece. Obviously, you see, when I was sliding him in, it's so snug. That the tape that was adhered right here, the it's so old that the glue, you know, the tape just slid right down. It's not even, it didn't rip or anything. The tape, the tape is just, um, you know, it's there's no glue left, so <laughs> it just whoosh, went right down with the with the snug fit of the uh, the box going into the case. But it doesn't matter because the tape has already been, you know, it's already been opened. It's not, it's not, it, you know, it would get a Q grade if anything, um, if I didn't if I had a perfect sticker sheet and I didn't apply any of the stickers. But, yeah, if, if anyone's really seriously interested, you know, send me a message and if you make an offer that I'd seriously consider, you never know. But that's it. That's, I just wanted to show you this piece of my childhood. Um, this is probably a piece of a lot of people's childhood around my age and it's just a really, really cool piece. A nice piece of vintage nostalgia nostalgic toy right here everything is in perfect condition like i said in my jetfire review 
the box is like you took a time machine back and went and got one. I mean, all the kids used to cut these out, cut the pieces out. Luckily, my mom just was such a good mother and kept all this stuff for me. I don't know why she did, but she threw it all in the attic. And, well, when I was looking for money to get married, the rest of them made me a fortune. So, but I did keep this guy in jet, jet fire because uh, they were the... Uh, the two best condition boxes with with everything so there you go there's your review of uh from my childhood a piece from my childhood was my generation one vintage megatron all right guys thanks for watching give you one last spin around of the box all right thank you